Good morning, my young artist. Look, I'm a YouTuber. Wow. I hope you've enjoyed the last few days being home with your families, feeling like you've got an early spring break. Your teachers have been working so hard. Oh, it was a lot to get our virtual classrooms ready for you. Turns out it's pretty hard to change your, how you think and how you teach when you can't be with your students. It's much more fun for us to work with you than through this computer. <laughs> but enough about them. Let's talk about us. The Google Art Classroom is open. I've created assignment for each of you based on your grade level. This first one should not be too hard. Um, all you have to do is follow the directions in the Google Classroom, look at the links that are below, and make the artwork. I know you might have some problems with art supplies. If you only have a pencil or a pen and paper, even a paper from a notebook with lines on it, um, please use whatever you have. My assignments for you will not require certain materials or mediums um, that you might not have at your house, but if you have colors, go for it. If you have paint, if you have crayons, if you have markers, I can't wait to see the creative things that you make. For those of you with digital ways to make artwork, like on your tablet, your iPad, please go for it. I'm super excited to see that. Okay, so the trickiest part of this whole situation is having you show me your artwork because of course I want to see it. So you might need some help from your parents for this and you might not. I will show you one way right now that you can get a photo into your work spot to submit it. So let's take a look. I will show you how to use your camera to take a picture of your artwork. Then I want to show you two different ways that you can upload or submit your artwork to the Google Classroom. So the first thing we need to do is go down to this little area in on your desktop to type in camera. Super. So we're going to click camera app. You should get something like this, whether you're on a Chromebook or your parent's computer or a laptop. And the camera is going to come up. And there I am. And I want to show you my piece of artwork that I want to upload. This is a picture done by my first grade daughter. You can put you in the picture if you'd like, or you can just show the photograph. And then you're just going to click take a photo. Okay, so now it's been saved. So I'm going to X that out. Now I need to find the photo to show you where it's at. So down here at the bottom you'll see a little folder. You need to click on that. Now it should show up right here in recent files, but if you're not sure that that's it, you can also look on the left under pictures or you can come up, um, you can click on, excuse me, this PC and go up to the pictures folder. Inside the pictures folder should be a default folder called camera roll. Double click on that. You can see I've taken this photo several times today. So it's right here and I can use any of these three. I'm going to go ahead and X that out now. Now when I'm in my classroom, after I have created my photo of my artwork and I'm ready to upload, I'm going to go to my Google Classroom. Now this is a test classroom that we have created just to show you. So now I want to add or create my assignment by putting in that photograph that I just made. So I'm going to go to File. File is a location on your computer. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to say select files from your device which is my computer. So I'm going to click that there and then because I was just playing around down here in this folder I now can see uh, the pictures that I can choose from. So I'm going to select this one, open, and then you can see that that document or that, that picture is right there. So I'll click upload then it takes a second for it to add and you can see it here in your work and you just press turn in press make sure that's right press turn in again and then it takes a moment to upload
you can create a folder on your drive and your photo into that folder on your drive and then upload it. So let me show you how to do that. When you're in your Google Drive, it looks somewhat like this. First thing I want to do is I want to create a folder so I can stay organized. So in one of these empty spaces anywhere, I'm going to right click on my mouse and I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Virtual Artwork 2020. Okay, and then press create. And now down at right here, it's highlighted already for me to look at. I'm going to double click there. Okay, then I'm going to right click and upload files. So I'm trying to take the photograph from my computer and put it into my Google Drive um, for later. So I, again, because I've been working with these photos, it should come up. If it doesn't, go down on the left, click on this PC. You can either click pictures here or you can click pictures here and then camera roll again and then select which picture you want to upload. Open. Okay, so now my photograph is in my Google Drive. Mrs. Schwartz, me, I cannot see this photo if it's only in your drive. You still have to upload it to your assignment page and turn your work in. This is only if you want to create all your artwork and have it in one place on your drive and off of mom or dad's computer. So now I'm going to go up to my classroom and my assignment. Now I'm going to show you how to unsubmit what I already turned in, just in case you make a mistake and you want to submit something different. So I'm going to click unsubmit. Okay, and then I can X that out and it's going to ask, oh, and then it's going to delete. Good. So now I'm going to add or create. This time, instead of using file directly from my computer, I'm going to use my Google Drive. Google Drive there. And then because I just uploaded it, it should be hanging out right here. I also can go to my drive and find it by going to the folder, but I don't need to because Google is smart and it has knows that probably I'm wanting to play with this right now. So I'm going to click on my picture. I'm going to click add. And don't forget to press turn in. So now your work has been turned in and you are good to go.